No matter how much we love our PCs, the time always inevitably comes when they no longer meet our needs or expectations and we must replace them with a shiny new one. Oftentimes, our old machines are still in good working order and we don't want to just throw them in the trash, so we either give them to family members or sell them to someone else. When transferring ownership of your PC to someone else, especially if it's someone that you don't even know that happened to respond to your Craigslist or Facebook Marketplace ad, obviously you don't want them to have access to your files or any cached information that may still be on your PC, like your bank account information or any passwords or login information to websites and other services that you use. So, before you hand over your computer to the new owner, you're going to want to wipe your information from your computer and set it up like new so they can log in as themselves and not have any of your information still on it. There are a couple different ways to do this that I'm going to talk about in this video. Uh, the first one is going to be the easiest way, um, but I'll also show another way which isn't really that difficult either, but does require a little more know-how to get it done. I think it goes without saying, but before you wipe your computer, you're going to want to back up and save all of your important data using an external hard drive or a USB flash drive or something like that. Once you have all your data backed up, you're ready to wipe your computer and prepare it for the new owner. Go to the Windows icon down here at the bottom left of your screen, uh, click it, and then come up to this cog icon here, uh, which is the settings menu. Uh, click on that and you should see this screen. Uh, click on update and security, then click on recovery here on the left hand side of the screen and under recovery, it says reset this PC. Click on get started here and then you'll need to choose remove everything. Since you're selling this computer, you don't want to keep any of your files on this machine because you don't want whoever's getting it to have your stuff. On this screen, you want to click on next. Uh, your computer will think for a little bit and then you'll see this screen saying you're ready to reset this PC. Since you've got everything backed up and you're ready to go, uh, you can click on reset and Windows will begin doing its thing. Uh, your computer will restart at this point and begin the reset process. Uh, this part is going to take some time, so you can walk away from your computer for a while at this point and come back to check on its progress later on. Once it has finished wiping your drive, it will reinstall Windows, which takes a little more time to complete, uh, but you should eventually land at this screen where it wants you to choose the region that you live in. At this point, you can be done. Uh, you can go ahead and shut down your computer and hand it over to the new owner because your data has now been wiped and it's ready for them to set it up just like as if it was a brand new computer. If for whatever reason this method doesn't work for you, there is another way to get things reset. Uh, this is also the way you would set up a brand new computer. Uh, for instance, if you're like me and enjoy building computers and want to sell them online or something, uh, this is how you install Windows and set up the OOBE or out of box experience. The first thing we're going to need to do here is to get a USB flash drive that is at least 8 gigabytes in capacity. Nowadays, I think you'd be pretty hard pressed to find one that has less capacity than eight gigabytes. Uh, but if you don't have a USB drive on hand that you can use, uh, you're gonna need to go out and get one that is at least eight gigabytes in capacity. You'll then want to open your web browser and search for Windows 10 Media Creation Tool. Uh, this tool is provided by Microsoft themselves and is completely free to use. So just make sure that, that you're clicking the link to the download page on Microsoft.com. Once you're there, you'll see this button that says download tool now. Uh, you can click that button and it will begin downloading the Windows 10 installation tool. Once it has finished, uh, you can click on it and this screen will pop up saying getting a few things ready. At this time, you can go ahead and plug in your USB drive. 
you will then be forced into clicking accept on the license terms page here because if you don't accept it then you will not be able to create this windows 10 installation media uh, when this screen comes up asking what you want to do uh, you want to select the create installation media for another pc option and then click next at this screen you can either go ahead and leave this box here check to just use the recommended options for this pc or you can uncheck it and select the language uh, the edition and architecture manually i'm just going to leave the box checked and click next here we're going to want to choose usb flash drive and click next once again it will now ask us which usb flash drive connected to our system we want to install the windows 10 tool to i only have this one drive connected to my system so that's the only one that shows up here i'm going to go ahead and select that and click next at this point it will begin downloading windows 10 to the drive this process does take a little bit of time, so you can go ahead and get yourself a snack or take a bathroom break or whatever else you need or just feel like doing. Once it has completed the download, it will quickly verify the download and then begin creating the Windows 10 installation tool. Once again, this is another process that takes a bit of time to complete, so feel free to do a little reading, watch some stuff on YouTube, or maybe do a Sudoku puzzle while you wait. Once it has finished creating the installation tool, it'll tell you your USB flash drive is ready, and you can click Finish. With our Windows 10 installation drive ready to go, we'll want to connect it to the PC that we're going to be selling. Uh, what we now need to do is boot to this Windows 10 installation drive. Unfortunately, different PC and motherboard manufacturers have different ways or keys that you have to press in order to boot from a USB drive like this. So I'm not going to be able to tell you exactly what to do on your machine. Um, this is something you'll either have to kind of figure out on your own uh, or, you know, you can always look it up online. On the machine I'm using for this video, I can power it on and then repeatedly press F11 to bring up the boot menu. Here I can select the USB flash drive with our Windows 10 installation files on it, hit enter on my keyboard, and it will begin the Windows installation process. First, we're going to want to select our language. Uh, I obviously want to choose English. I'll click next. And now we're ready to click the button here in the middle of the screen that says install now this screen is where you'll type in your product key if you have one um, if you're resetting an old pc you can input the windows license key that's uh, written on the sticker that is usually you know stuck on the outside of your computer case someplace uh, or if you're installing windows on a brand new computer that you just built um, you can buy a key and input it here uh, or if you don't have a key right now, you can just click uh, down here where it says, I don't have a product key. On the next screen, you'll select the version of Windows 10 that you want to install. For this video, I'm going to be installing Windows 10 Home, so I will select that and click Next. Here we have that little box that you have to click that says, I accept the license terms. Um, otherwise, you cannot install Windows to your machine. And then you click Next once again. On this screen, since we are not upgrading, we want to select Custom uh, Install Windows Only. And that will then take us here where we need to tell it which drive to install Windows onto. This computer has two different drives in it, a 500 gigabyte solid state drive and a two terabyte mechanical drive. I want to install Windows to the 500 gigabyte solid state drive. So first, I'm going to need to delete the partitions on that drive. It currently has a copy of Windows installed on it, um, but we're going to wipe that and install new. So I need to click on each partition on that drive and delete them. If you're doing this on a brand new drive that has never had Windows installed on it before, then there should be no partitions to delete. You can just select the drive you want and go. Now that I've got all of my partitions deleted, I then need to select this drive one unallocated space here, click next, and Windows will begin installing to that drive. 
we have uh, once again arrived at one of those moments where you're going to have some time to kick back and relax for a bit and let the computer do its thing. Uh, your computer will restart a couple of times during this, um, but will eventually land on this screen here, uh, prompting you to select your region. Now, I could just leave this PC right here, uh, ready for its new owner, but I want to go in and install the drivers for the graphics card, the, the network adapter, the audio processor, and the motherboard chipset as well. Uh, to do this without having to log in, we're going to need to enter what is called Windows Audit Mode. This will allow us to log into Windows as an administrator and download and install all of these things. To enter Audit Mode, you need to hold down Control and Shift and then press F3 on your keyboard. This will reboot the computer and then log you into Windows as an administrator in Audit Mode. When you first land at the desktop, you're going to see this system preparation tool window here. You can just move it out of the way here uh, while we install the stuff that we need to, because once we're done, we're going to need to use this little tool to shut the PC down. At this point, you can download and install any drivers or other software uh, that you may want to install for the person you're selling the computer to. And once you're all done, you can come back to the little system preparation tool window here and where it says shutdown options, you can click the drop down menu, select shutdown, and then click OK. And uh, that is it. I hope this video was helpful to you, uh, but I'd also like to hear what you have to say in the comments. Uh, did you enjoy it? D did it help you? Uh, did I go into too much detail or not enough detail? Uh, please let me know what you thought so I can improve future tutorial videos like this one. If you found the video helpful, please hit the like button before you head out, subscribe to the channel if you are not already, and if you think a friend or family member could benefit from the information in this video, uh, feel free to share it with them. Also, if you'd like to help support the work I do here on my channel, I invite you to check out the link uh, to my Amazon store in the video description where you can purchase products I feature in my videos. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you have a fantastic day, and I look forward to seeing you again in another video. I'll catch you later.